Bananas is the second film written and directed by Woody Allen. Released in 1971, it tells the story of Fielding Mellish, a regular schlub who gets caught up in a revolution. It is one of Allen's early beloved comedies, but how well do you know it? Well, here's 10 things about Bananas. This is Woody Allen's first film for United Artists. They were in the running for Take the Money and Run, but this time they were willing to concede to more of Allen's creative demands. He would make eight films with the company all up. Scheduled to be released in the same year was another political comedy by Allen called Men of Crisis, The Harvey Wallinger Story. Made for PBS, it was a parody of Henry Kissinger. PBS decided not to show the short film, and it has never been released. It would have been the first time Diane Keaton appeared in something directed by Woody Allen. Uh, he was just romantic, but he would have tough time because, as I say, he, he tried to, he couldn't stop from crossing his legs, you know. He, he always had his legs crossed when he was trying to make love, and he couldn't seem to uncross them. <laughs> Bananas actually began life as an adaptation of a book. The book was Don Quixote USA, written by Richard P. Powell, and although Bananas became an original story, some of the place names remain in the film. Another inspiration for Bananas was Alan's own short story, Viva Vargas, a story about a man caught up in a revolution. Alan would use many of the characters' names in Bananas. The short story can be found in Alan's first book collection, Getting Even. Marvin Hamlish composed the music for this film, his second time working with Alan. Apparently the two didn't get along, with Hamlish looking for the back of the famous machine. Oh, and excuse me, senor. Hamlish would I, I was a major composer. He is the only eager to work on a Woody Allen film. Alan cast Louise Lasser as the lead romantic role. Lassa was Alan's ex-wife. They had divorced in 1970. They would remain friends and would work together a couple more times. Alan shot parts of Bananas in Puerto Rico, with the film opening on the Puerto Rico Capitol building. All the revolution stuff in the film's fictional country of San Marcos was filmed there. Opening the film are a bunch of wide world of sports presenters, including the legendary Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell was a sportscaster and widely considered to be one of the best. He would also appear in footage for Sleeper and a non-speaking role in Broadway Danny Rose. And now Woody Allen with a few words about his new film. What's the title of your movie, Woody? B bananas? Yes, Bananas. Uh, the name of the movie is, is uh, Bananas. The Bananas trailer actually features some original footage. Woody Allen being interviewed by Frank Buxton, a friend of Allen's and one of the voices from What's Up Tiger Lily. The official film poster was drawn by Jack Davis, he worked for Mad Magazine and designed many other classic film posters. And of course, Sylvester Stallone appears in a small role. He and co-star in this scene, Anthony Queso, were actually deemed not tough enough. The pair came back after putting cream in their hair and acted tougher, scaring Alan into giving them the roles. Stallone and Alan would be paired again as best friends in the animated film Ants. That's 10 things about Bananas. Find out more about the film's locations, trivia, music and cast in our book, The Woody Allen Pages, The Watcher's Guide, available on Kindle and iBooks. Go to WoodyAllenPages.com for all the latest on Woody Allen news and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos.